further ado, Jeremy is going to speak to us about an issue that I think is really quite central to our own identity and our own DNA at Middlesex. I'm not going to take much more of your time. I just ask you to please give Jeremy the traditional welcome and invite you to our first ever QC in Residence lecture. Thank you. Well, Joshua, thank you very much for that generous introduction. And um, I've seen some of you before, but um, I'd like to say again what a great pleasure it is and has been to be welcomed to Middlesex University. Um, it's a real privilege to be involved with a university which prides itself on diversity and progression. Joshua and Louis and Susan and everyone have been incredibly welcoming and we at 25 Bedford Row um, are very, very happy to have forged this link. My early years at the criminal bar were characterised by elitism, racism and sexism. Revered practitioners and judges, um, people who were widely respected within the profession, were nothing more than bigots, upper class, racists. And that was a sign of the times. Lawyers, as well as offenders, who fell outside of that mould, who were black, Asian, Jewish, gay, were totally and utterly sidelined. The Lamy Review is an independent review into the treatment of and outcomes for black and minority ethnic individuals in the criminal justice system. Why is their um, disproportionate treatment of minority offenders? Is it that whoever is involved at the particular phase of the process is a racist or are they racists? Justice has to be blind. And that we now have a review, and it is a spectacular document, that tells us what the problems are, that gives us the statistics, that identifies ways of going forward. And of course it will be fascinating to see whether in the foreseeable future any attention is given to these issues, or whether in fact, as is my experience since I was born in 1982, it's all talked about, but nothing is ever done. Thank you very much.